Hey YouTube subscribers. Um, a few of you guys have asked about doing a build video on my truck. Appreciate that. It's always nice to find people who enjoy this, the, the stuff that I do. Um, I guess I'll do a few part series, I guess, on the truck. Um, right now I'm doing some work on the, the front axle, which is a Dana 60. Um, just some maintenance that's been lacking. I tend to drive the truck and kind of put it away wet. But um, I think I'll go over some stuff with you right now. Uh, let's take a look. I got a soupy mess in my wheel bearings. So, working on that. <coughs> among some other things like uh, tie rod ends and such. Um, you can see these are Yukon uh, axles with super joints. Um, found my super joints are a little wobbly. I got some play in them. I got to replace the caps on them. Uh, I got the axles used. So they look pretty new, but I don't know how much time they had on them. And I probably haven't lubed them enough, but occasionally I did. Um, like I said, this is a Dana 60 off an 85 one ton. I'm running springless WFO caps. Um, really nice piece. I just got through checking those for slop. You got to take off the steering linkages so that you can kind of rock it back and forth and uh, fuel for slop. There's a better way of doing it and it has to do with putting a inch pound um, what do you call it, inch pound torque wrench either on here or down here, I'm not positive and actually feeling what the resistance is and it calls for a certain amount. What it is, I don't know. I just kind of do it by feel and it seems to be working okay? Question mark? Um, but I'll just keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. There's my uh, PSC RAM. Uh, it's kind of getting beat up a little bit. I think it has a little bend to it. But uh, I'm going to keep using it until it starts to give me fits, and then I'll replace it. Uh, ORD HD tie rod with offset uh, ends. Otherwise, it would hit the diff cover. As you can see, it's also seen a little bit of abuse. I don't know if that's coming across or not, but it is a little bent. Just happens to uh, see a lot of rocks. Um, these are the leaf springs. Are um, what's that called? Tough Country, Tough Country four inch HDs. The difference between the HD and the Easy Ride is this lower leaf. I've called them and asked them about it, and they said this is the only difference between the two, is this lower one. So I figured I'll start with these. If I don't like the ride, I'll take it out. And so far, I've liked it. Got uh, zero rates from the ORD. I had them taper it so I don't have to run a, um, a degree shim. So this is bolted right to the leaf back. No shims greasable bolts and if you can see there's my one inch uh, body lift so it's a total of four plus the one inch plus one body lift is technically six inch lift I guess um, going back to the rest of it I've got a put a rebuilt box on it I've got a low drop pitman arm and it just barely clears the frame which is perfect I don't like the ones that drop farther. I started with that, and that's because the leaf spring gets super close to it. And I don't know if it actually hits or not. I just, I didn't like it. So, I went with a, a lower drop one. I think that's also from ORD. Um, or, this might be a Ford Pitman arm from a mid-70s, late 70s Ford a uh, Connell line van. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and uh, the end of it was uh, reamed out to fit the Chevy tie rod in because the Ford ones are a little bit too small. Uh, XJ shaft, the Jeep shaft, gets rid of the sloppy uh, rubber boot joint kind of thing that's up at the top and you get rid of the rag joint. You go to Universal's. <coughs> Great improvement for anybody looking to fix what they thought they were fixing by changing all their steering and they're like, oh, it's still sloppy. Well, it might be it might be that piece right there. And you can see I'm tapped into the end of the box for my RAM and I'm also tapped into the top of the box for my RAM. Uh, some guys have it tapped here. I think that might give you a little bit better speed um, maybe, but I don't really, I don't have a problem. I've kind of gone over that in one of my other videos. But, uh, to make the straight drag link work, I went to an ORD engine cross member, um, so that it's up out of the way. I got rid of, I cut out the factory one. Um, uh, you can see my rock sliders. It's got a pretty good cut on my fenders. Clear the tires, the 38s. Uh, shocks, Philistines. You can see my bushings are looking pretty nasty. I'll get to that sooner or later. But uh, they go up to a hoop up at the top. Works out nicely. These are 14 inch travel. And I use a pretty good amount of it. As you can see, I've got about an inch and a quarter maybe before it actually hits the end and I don't run bump stops I, I don't think I've ever touched these um, geez, what else let's see let's take a walk oh the uh, the drag link is actually from it was WFO or it was Rough Stuff Specialties. Uh, it's just a uh, DOM piece with inserts. Those are welded in inserts that have threads. Works out really nice, really easy. Instead of having to try and tap the inside of a DOM um, tubing, they just put, you put an insert in it and have it welded. And uh, I only have a little 110 welder, so I had somebody else weld it up for me that's got a one. These ones, the ORD one, is, this is what I'm talking about. This is actually threaded inside, and so you thread that in there, and they put your the lock nut on it for the jam nut. We'll go around here. You can see I was working on this side. Same thing, super um, Yukon axles. Uh, there's the springless WFO arm. Um, you see the drive shaft I just got putting on. A drive shaft I was using ended up being a little too short one day and popped off. So I decided to upgrade that to a, a longer slip spline. It's like a 9 inch slip or something. But, uh, See if we can keep going. Going down underneath, you can see I got a pretty flat. I did a transfer case clock and a CV with a uh, SYE slip yoke eliminator to my Dana or Dana to my uh, 14 bolt. Uh, let me start another video.